Hi there Scorpio, how are you doing today? Welcome to your May energy update and we're going to have a look at the energy surrounding you in May, what's coming towards you, what spirit want you to be aware of for May. May's a much calmer month astrologically than March or April work because it was very intense energies that we had um, but there's a lot more grounding of energy uh, surrounding us all in, in May. So let's have a look and see what spirit wants to talk to you about for the month of May. What can you expect? What's coming your way, Scorpio? Um, sorry, I should have said this before. Uh, for Scorp this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node. We've got Healer of Ages. Very active healing energy. Angel of Love. and adjacent possibilities. Okay. Where we might have felt that we couldn't come through a situation that was painful in the heart space, there's been healing that's happened that has healed our heart space or helped us come into peace or come to terms with something because we've seen things from a different perspective or there's been something new that's come our way. Let's have a look at this just a little bit deeper. We I, there's just there's a stuck feeling. There's a feeling of being stuck in the heart space when it comes to self-love and perhaps in a relationship as well, but certainly in kind of like a self self-care, self-love um area. And it could it could be that you've been seeking out healing or you were seeking out healing. But I feel like there's a very strong healing energy coming from you um, in May. It's like you, if you're a healer or if you do anything uh, to do with Reiki or spiritual healing or any type of healing, um, healing in any way in your work or just who you are as a person, if you're very conscious about healing, this is going to like ramp up in, in May. We've got deep knowing. I just had a feeling there as well. Some of you starting a business that's to do with the healing practice that you um, that you love, enjoy, um, know a lot about. Okay, there's great wisdom coming through this energy. New life. Okay, you're ready for something new. It could be this business. It could also be a new relationship um, or a new phase of a relationship with the angel of, of love and the healing energy and this adjacent possibilities coming through. Unfinished symphony. So for some of you, this is a romantic connection. Um, I'm going to get one more for you here as well. A leg up. Okay. So where this is in a work situation, career, business situation, side hustle, whatever um, resonates with you here, that, oh, we've got soulmates on the bottom as well. Okay, so some of you, this, this might be a love situation. Um, there's We felt trapped or we felt like we couldn't see a way out. Um, there are adjacent possibilities and some of those possibilities is asking somebody else for help or, or being more being vulnerable to ask for help or ask for healing. Um, but you're ready for something new. You're really ready for something new here. Okay. What? Let's go a little bit deeper. Some a possibility that you you didn't see before is making itself known in May. What do we need to know about this energy in May for Scorpio energy, please? Okay, we've got the Nine of Earth. Things coming into fruition in the physical. So things are moving in the physical that feel very solid, very grounded, very joyful. It's like a hard cycle is over. We're kind of like on the, the very last leg of something. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for you? We've got the chariot. Moving forward. Hanged man, yeah, different perspective. 
the adjacent possibilities in the hanged man is like um switching things completely like looking in a completely different direction four of water so where we might have been feeling kind of sad um, and just needed some kind of contemplation time some rest time especially when it comes to our emotions that three of water yeah um we're seeing something from a different perspective this help support or advice that you need can is possibly going to come from friendships from friends um or if you've got somebody if you know somebody who's a healer and you and them might start a side hustle or they might give you help on um or help on starting your business it's anything that's to do with that involves healing or has healing has a healing impact on your customers your clients or what it is that you're doing but you're really you really are ready for something new it's like you've been in rest mode and now you're kind of stretching out of that and looking for these different uh, different ways of moving into something that's very f very satisfying in the physical for some of you this is making more money for yourself and especially with us being in tourist season it's all about tourist rules our second house which is our own money it's our values it's our like our pers personal resources for uh, material possessions okay let's see what else we need to know for may this thing that's that you that is that's the theme of of may for you where your energy is most focused and your attention is most focused it's something that's already in your life with this unfinished symphony energy we'll get some clarity on that in a second but there's new possibilities there's like a there's an energy of love that is supporting you now there's like there's been a lot of heart healing that's taken place okay we'll cut first okay we've got the six of air transformation and the six of fire yeah you're definitely moving away from challenge with these sixes so we might feel like there's still healing that needs to take place for some of you you might be healing like self-healing which is i feel like it's strengthening your um healing ability we've got transformation so this is the death energy this is the transformation of our ego this is where We've had we've had conditioning, we've had um, like patterns, and we're breaking them. So, where you might have struggled, or something has felt really like there's no way through, you're going to start to see these options, these possibilities, this support opening up. But there is something about asking for help to get you in in through these doors that are these adjacent possibilities. And we've got the six of fire. Yeah, so there was a challenge, but this is your victory now. This is your time of victory, two of earth, keeping things more in balance. So yeah, I do feel like you felt really thrown and the hierophant. Yeah, this is getting guidance on your direction. This is restoring your faith in yourself. There's a lot of self-love um, through this healing that's being activated as well. Um, with the Hierophant energy and the Angel of Love and the Soulmates energy that was at the bottom of this deck, this could be to do with um, a long-term commitment for some of you as well. Okay, let's see what energy Spirit are encouraging you to embrace on this journey. What energy should we be embracing for Scorpio, please, in May? The challenges that you've had over the last couple of months, you're seeing the end of them now. Oh no, spirits, they keep shuffling. You're seeing the end of them now. With the six of fire and this, the death card, the transformation energy, you're, you're, it's like you're watching something transform and that's where you're in this, uh, this energy of this new life you know as well like you know which way to go so where you don't have a map you don't need a map because your intuition is incredibly strong shield maiden make plans and focus so now it's more there's the energy is more supportive this month to take action forward and to be focused because we've kind of overcome the challenges now we can really focus on going to get what we want we know we can find and or seek out the right people to ask for help 
um, and or to go along this journey with us. And we're starting to see these these possibilities, shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts, transformation right above. So we're moving away. We're going, we're moving away from something that feels restrictive, that feels um, conditioned perhaps. And we're able to shapeshift now. We're able to adapt. We're able to look forward with wisdom. We know that we can go on our own, but sometimes it's better to go with someone else. Oracle, wait for important information. This could be with this um, asking for help. So needing this important information before you make some a step forward. This could also be in terms of any kind of spiritual guidance or this deep uh, deep knowing that you have. It's waiting for that to kick in. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. With this healer of the ages and the great teacher energy, this is, you are, you i really feel like you are in a place where you can, you are helping other people heal or you're teaching somebody else something that is healing or helps other people heal there's a knock-on effect here um with your healing ability it's very strong very beautiful i do feel like for some of you you kind of sit in the background and um don't take don't often take the limelight for your successes but I feel like spirit saying to you in this reading, it's you need to be aware of your successes. Uh, spring, see your seeds grow. They want you to be aware of your successes. So it's not about being recognized for them necessarily on the outside world, but it's definitely about being recognizing your own success, your own victory, and um, your own teaching ability as well with the great teacher and the hierophant. The hierophant energy can be a teacher and a guide. Um, So yeah, the seeds that you planted in the last few months, you've kind of been hitting challenges, hitting walls with them, but it's not finished yet. This could be in a relationship or it could be in a, a in a business, it could be both, but you you are moving away. There's a big transformation happening and you're moving away from anything that's felt stagnant, stuck, and you're starting to see things come into fruition. If it's not as quick as you wanted it to be just trust that it's in motion um and that you need to wait for important information i want to have a look at this unfinished symphony what do we need to know about this unfinished symphony energy okay the answers that you need are going to come from the strangest of places okay it's going to be doing something in a different way it's going to be where you thought something was dead in the water it's not it just needs a different approach What else with this unfinished symphony do we need to know? Ooh, okay. Do you know, as I was shuffling, I was looking at the hanged man energy and I was like, okay, I think we need to get clarity on the hanged man energy. I think that was my silence because I was feeling into this card and uh, the hangman came out. We def and with the adjacent possibilities and, and the hanged man coming out in both the tarot decks, there is something we need to look at differently. We need to turn something on its head. We need to see a different... Um, we need to see something in a different way. We need to approach it in a different way. We need to ask a different person. We need to ask a different question. Let's see this hanged man. What do we need to know about this hanged man down here? The Queen of Cups. So somebody who is wise and emotionally connected is the person that you need to go to for help. What do we need to go for help? <laughs> okay, what do we need to go for help? for what and we've got the king of swords anything else what do we need to go for help for what do we need to seek out what do we need to find okay so the help is how to use your gifts you don't know how powerful you are you don't you're not aware of just how much you are capable of okay um you need somebody to help you harness your gifts to teach you how to harness your gifts or inspire you but this person is very emotionally connected they're very intuitive and they are deeply 
moved through by emotion so this is somebody that perhaps is, is very creative but somebody that is very stable and has a lot of experience in emotional challenge and um, perhaps some of the challenge that you've been through um and you will get clarity okay you're kind of thinking about where you're going um, and you will get clarity for sure and with this clarity so we're really being wise in our emotions and then we're being very wise in the the ideas and the community how we communicate that out how we're asking people for help how we are finding different things the questions we're asking how we're in inter intellectualizing yeah okay okay there's a brand new idea coming in there's a brand new idea coming in there's a huge shift in th your direction it's gonna it's like you're gonna get to the same place that that is what you're wishing for but you're just gonna get there in a different way and that's what's opening up for you in may let's have a i do feel like some of you are um, really deeply a, a teacher whether you whether it's explicit um and quite literal or not some of you really do possess that gift okay so this this is some last words of wisdom from spirit for you viewer we've got hawk messenger spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs that's we that that's this hanged man energy focus on priorities and eliminate distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights exactly so where we're feeling stuck there's a purpose in this stuckness um and it's to do with seeing something from a different perspective and this adjacent possibilities because we've got the hangman twice and this adjacent possibilities it's not literal there's something where we need to go on a detour to gain something um and to go through this kind of like wandering path rather than a straight path forward because that's not going to get you to the greatest the highest place the greatest place um and the, the way you can have the most impact i feel so we've got hawk messenger let's get you one more we've got frog prosperity let go of the past and embrace change opportunities are close at hand Hop onto this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Amazing. So if this is something to do with a job, side hustle, business, something that's shifting in that area, um, there's a lot here to support you. There's people on your pathway, there's signs to direct you on your pathway, but look for something that you wouldn't normally do, but that feels very good, or a person who has a lot of experience knowledge wisdom in this in the same pathway who's kind of done it already and who has this deep knowing to help you get this deep knowing as well in this kind of like stretching into this new life but you are awakening to this new life because you're in this transformation state the challenge that you were experiencing before is you're leaving that behind um, and we are going into a lot more prosperous times a lot more prosperous times okay all right viewer I hope that you've found some messages of guidance and words of wisdom from spirit in the reading today. Thank you for watching the reading with me as always, and I will catch you next time. Take care.